Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Asmodus Helv. Hi Vapors, Darth Narby here again with another episode of Full Steam Ahead. Um, <clears throat> just trying something a little bit new um, for my videos. I see a lot of other people do stuff with stuff in the background. So you've got my, my vaping gear here, my little mods, one of my favourite tanks, one of my favourite juices, and my screen showing the uh, product I'm currently reviewing. Uh, so you can see that in the background. Uh, and just something new I thought I'd try really. Uh, with me slightly off centre, so you can still see that information in the background. Um, so yes, today I've got the Asmodus Helve, um, and this is a 120 watt device. Uh, it ranges from 5 to 120 watts in power mode, and from 5 to 60 watts, I think, in temperature control mode. As for temperature control, uh, it can do Ni200, titanium, stainless steel both 316 and 304 although I've never seen any 304 stainless steel wire um, but you know what before I keep going on about it let's go into the down view I can show you an up close on this show you what it's all about show you what the functions are and then we can come back up give it a vape and I can let you know what my opinion is on the whole thing alrighty okay let's go to the down view now okay here we are in the down view so just move my table ever so slightly. Okay, what have we got? So, this is the package the Asmodus Health comes in. Comes with a little sticker telling you which version you've got. Jungle camouflage or desert camouflage, as you can see there. See that? Yep. Okay, so obviously I got desert camouflage, as you saw a minute ago when I was vaping on it. Um, inside the package, you get an Asmodus distribution uh, warranty card. Obviously, um, I say obviously like it's fucking obvious and it really isn't. You get a full instruction booklet of all the things, all the um, stuff that your uh, Asmodus Health does. Um, it even tells you at the front, like, all the technical parameters are all there. Uh, here it also tells you about reverse battery protection, chip overheating protection, all sorts of cool stuff like that. So be sure when you get yours to give it a read. And this little lovely pouch here with the Asmodus logo there. And then inside you get the Asmodus Health um, pouch. Now it's very uh, army sort of thing. Um, this particular bit here obviously you can put on your belt. Uh, but if you want to wear your mod on your belt then you're a sad motherfucker in my opinion. <laughs> I can't imagine much people, many people actually using this on their belt. But it's kind of cool to keep it safe when you're traveling. Um, maybe you're chucking your bag or whatever. You can actually, I have actually done this. You can actually, because the, obviously the 510 is exposed here, you can actually fire this thing, you know, while it's inside the pouch and everything. Uh, and you've got a little tiny sort of string bag at the front there to put a bottle of juice in. Unicorn bottle or whatever you want, really. Um, inside, with these little Velcro straps, let's just take this off. And again, remove that, and then here we are. So, here's the Asmodus Helm itself. You've got your plus and minus buttons at the bottom there. Um, 510 connection on the top. I believe it's stainless steel 510. Um, and then you've got the Asmodus logo here as well. The coating, the feeling of it, is kind of rubberized. Um, one thing I will say is the coating isn't that durable. Um, I've only had it a few weeks and the coating's already flaking off. In fact, I just picked a bit off while I was doing that. So, yeah, the coating is kind of flaking off, um, which doesn't bother me a great deal, but if you like your sort of rubberized stuff, be aware that it's not properly rubberized. It is just a rubberized coating that makes it feel that way. Um, at the bottom here, it takes two 18650s. You've got your battery venting there, and the cool thing about this is you push the button, the battery thing flops out, and you've got your two 18650s in there. Very easy to change them over. You just pull them out, pull the other one out, boom, 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 change them over. When you first get it, one thing to note, 
This can be a bitch to open because obviously it doesn't just flop open uh, without the batteries in it pushing against the door. So if you just push your finger there, pull it out, boom, job done. In the batteries go. As Modus logo pops up the moment you do it. Uh, five clicks to turn the fucking thing on. So one, two, three, four, five. There you go. As Modus. And then straight into power mode. That should be how yours comes. Um, it's got a nifty little power save function. As you can see, the screen's gone very, very dark. And now the screen's gone off. So, and that happens pretty rapidly. So the average battery life out of this, I mean, I'm vaping at around 40 watts at the moment. And uh, the battery life coming out of it is like two or three days. It's really, really good. Um, so, yeah, 120 watt device on with 218 650s. So they're not being like a lot of companies saying, oh, yeah, it's 200 watts on 218 650s. Fuck off. They're actually being sort of like conservative and, and doing it at uh, 120 watts, which is good. Got your little fire button at the front here, so obviously the whole thing feels very nice. Um, trying to get the right angle for the camera, actually. As you can see, the whole thing feels quite nice in the hand. Obviously, bit shit if you're left-handed because you'd be covering up some of the screen, but it is ambidextrous. The bumps, as you can see on the sides, that curve into your hand like that, and sort of where you rest your thumb, are, uh, are both sides, so it will feel good in either hand. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, right, let's have a look at the little menu here. So, a lot of things, uh, a lot of devices I've noticed, you do have to press the, um, you press this button here three times and it goes into the menu. Not so with the Asmodus Health or the Minikin that I've got to review uh, later. One, two, three, four, five. So you do your five and this gives you your system on or off. So that will basically turn the system off. Uh, hold on system off like so and it tells you also that it's the GX120 chip by Asmodus turn it back on one two three four five to go into the menu so that's your system uh, then you've got your mode so you've got power and you use a plus uh, you don't use the plus and minus to actually go up and down through the menus you use the little button so this switches this switches between all the options right but these bits change the options so on power mode you've got power mode you've got ni200 you've got titanium stainless steel 316 stainless steel 304 and then back to power mode so those are your different options you've got there also you've got a brightness setting so you can turn that all the way down as you can see the screen dims or turn it all the way back up screen's nice and bright uh, and that's just personal preference basically. Exchange, what this does is as you can see the screen is currently fuck's sake <laughs> the screen is currently uh, white on black if you press that button it changes it to black on white so it's totally up to you and then you've got your exit which exits this menu. Simple. Um, so those that is literally everything you can do with this device what I will do um, before we go back to the up view and talk a little bit more about it is show you a dry burn test that um, I got for, well, a dry burn test that I thought I would do uh, very similar to a, another guy I love, one of my favourite vapours, uh, a guy called Vic Mullin. And he does a dry burn cotton test. So give me two secs, I'll get some cotton and we can do the test. Okay, so cotton burn test. Here we are, here's the cotton on the uh, NI200 coil on here and I'll be firing this at 410 Fahrenheit which is the fire point for cotton which means the temperature it can get to before it burns at uh, 20, 20 watts as well so 20 watts, 410 Fahrenheit cotton burn test, here we go, does temperature control actually work on this device? And the answer is fucking no, unfortunately not. So, as you can see by the singed cotton, as you can see by the singed cotton, temperature control on this device isn't particularly good. Um, so, yeah, it's not great. It just burned through the cotton as you saw there. Um, but 
you know, um, flavour wise for temperature control, it seems to work okay. Uh, it's it's a little bit hit and miss, as in it doesn't seem to be much different to me than in power mode. Um, so I have had dry hits off of this in cotton, well not dry hits, but I've had burnt hits off of this in temperature control mode. Um, one word of advice though, or one, one thing that you can do with this, obviously, is um, you can alter the, alter the temperature, but you can also, if you just press the plus and minus together, it switches between the, so you can up the wattage like so, and then you can switch back to the temperature so you can up and down the temperature. Alright, so I'll tell you what, let's go back up into the up view. I'll tell you a little bit more about the device and I'll give you my opinion on it. Alrighty, let's go to the up view now. Okay, here we are back in the up view. So, what do I think of this little device, the Asmodus Health? Well, aside from the um, temperature control being a little bit shonky, Generally, it's a really nice device. It's not left my hand really in the sort of few weeks I've had it now. Um, by the way, this was actually sent to me for review by Sean Amoto from Asmodus, whose website you can see right in front of me there. Um, he sent it to me for the purpose of review. So thanks, Sean, over at Asmodus, asmodus.com. Um, you can go to their website there and see all their other devices like the Minikin and the Helm and a few other things as well. Now, oh, something else I didn't point out in the down view. Um, basically, the good thing about this is when you put, um, unlike a lot of devices, well, no, it does seem to read it, but you, you put your, you put your um, tank on and it doesn't, it doesn't ask you new coil or anything like that. But what you can do, oh, hello. Um, what you can do is when you've put a new tank on there, if you look at this up close, when you put a new tank on, you press the minus button and the trigger together, and it reads the resistance of your coil for you, and then sets it to whatever that was, so in this case, 0 0.30, 0 0.30, 0 0.3, 0 0.3 ohms, um, and at, point, at 40 watts, 0.3 ohms, It's a pretty damn good vape. The power's consistent. The vape is never, it's pretty much instant. I mean, you might be able to hear this. Oh, there you go, hear that? So yeah, it's literally, right, listen, listen, listen. So it, it's almost instant. There's like not much ramp up time at all, maybe a split second, and then it's straight into power giving you all the power you need, 120 watts of power, but I'm only firing on 40, and it does seem a lot more powerful than other mods in its in its class. I mean, I had um, I had a Segeli 150, and the power coming out of this seems a lot, what's the word, a lot more direct than the power coming out of the Segeli. There was no ramp up time, nice hard hitting mod, you know. I mean, I'm only vaping this on 3.63 volts, at 40 watts. I mean, let's whack it up to something over 3.8. Hold on. There you go. 4.1. 51 watts. Flavor's good. Well, that's more about the tank. The uh, I've got the Steam Crave. Uh, fucking hell. Aroma Miser V1 on here. One of my favourite tanks actually for blowing clouds and getting flavour. Um, but the power is 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 pretty damn good. It's it's pretty solid. Um, but even even vaping at 40, 50 watts, I'm getting like three days use out of this thing. Three days. That's unheard of in today's mods. Um, the actual body itself is made of a zinc alloy. You can hear that. It's solid. Uh, the rubberized coating is. It felt nice, and I was like, oh, it's coated in rubber. But it's really not. It literally is like a matte paint or a matte. A matte uh, lacquer that they put over the top that feels rubberized, but it's not rubberized, which is really quite disappointing. But other than that, it's a really, really nice mod. It fits well in the hand, and um, yeah, I can't fault it. Aside, obviously, aside from the uh, temperature control. So if you're looking for something that does spot on temp control, don't bother with this. Um, one thing I did note is this is a GX120 chip, whereas the Minikin 
has the GX120 V2. So it makes me wonder if they corrected the um, corrected the temp control stuff in the V2 chip, which we'll find out when I do the Minikin review in a few days. Um, let me just have a quick look on my browser here. So um, max output volts is 7.5 volts. Uh, standby time 10 seconds, vaping time 10 seconds, uh, standby current is less than 350 microamps, um, or nanoamps, I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's got, it's, it's got, um, it's got its temp control, which doesn't particularly work well. It's got the power mode, which is really good and definitely the reason I would get one of these things. In fact, it's weird because I used to be well into my temp control, like bang into my temp control. And ever since I got the health, obviously, you know, I don't, I don't, temperature control um, doesn't work on it. But even then, I've still found myself vaping in power mode um, because it's just... It just delivers such a nice clean vape, especially with stainless steel wire. I don't find myself getting any of the burnt hits like I was getting on my VTC Mini. Uh, and the VTC Mini's temp control is great, it works, but it just fucks about so much. Like, oh, maybe a temp... Uh, and it doesn't deliver a nice, hard-hitting, flavourful vape, whereas this does. So... I can wholeheartedly, personally recommend this thing to anyone who's looking for a new mod. Everywhere I've gone, and people, I mean, I went down to Steam Machine the other day, and people loved it. They were like, where the hell did you get that? Blah, blah, blah. And it is just a really nice mod. It fits really nice in the hand. You can hold it like that, like that. Ooh, excuse me. I wouldn't recommend holding it like that, because that's pretty fucking pointless. <laughs> but yeah, top-notch mod. And at the moment, it's going on the Asmodus website. As you can see, it's going for $89.95. With shipping, I think it ends up being something like 75 or uh, like close to £80, basically, with shipping. It's, it's £80 from the US. But you do get a free 15ml bottle of juice with it as well. Um, the only other place that you can buy it from that I know of in the UK, I'm sure there are plenty of other places, but the place that I'm going to be uh, supporting in this case is innovapors.co.uk and they've got the device for £69.99 uh, and I believe they have the black one in stock currently. So if you like it in black, then perfect. If not, come to Asmodus because they've got all the colours in stock. So, yeah. And that's about it, guys, uh, for another episode of Full Steam Ahead with me, Darth Naga, reviewing the Asmodus Health. Nice bit of kit, and I would definitely purchase it if I hadn't already been sent one for review. Uh, it's funny, because I was actually looking at these at Vape Jam, um, and you know, I was all in an iron as to whether or not to get one. Uh, at the end, um, Sean Amoto from Asmodus sent me one for review. So I'm really chuffed with that. Thanks very much, Sean. Thank you, Asmodus, for sending me that for review. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Full Steam Ahead. I'm going to sort of stick with this format for now because it seems to work pretty well. Uh, and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think uh, and whether you prefer the full-on, face-on format or whether you prefer this more sort of relaxed, sitting off to the side with some cool information in the background format. Up to you guys. You guys help shape this channel and make it what it is. Uh, don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it, obviously. Uh, share and subscribe to my channel. And try and post it wherever you can. Get people to subscribe. The more subscribers I get, the more stuff people send me for you guys. Yeah, the more stuff people send me to review that I can then show you guys. And you can get a nice, unbiased opinion on how good the device is. So, yeah. That's it from me. Until next time, motherfuckers, toot toot.